Hi everyone, it's Darlene, and it is Sunday night. I am bored out of my mind. I don't believe I did any videos yesterday, so I might have. I can't quite remember. Um, but I just felt like chatting with you, and I was like, what, what can I tell them? What can I tell them? I know I've been doing a lot of Minute Madness videos lately, so I wanted to do something different, and I thought I would tell you about Google Alerts. Now, I'm looking at my blog, um, and I just want to let you guys know, because I get a lot of questions like, I thought I saw something on your blog, and I, I went through your whole blog, and I couldn't find it. There is a little search box up here. Now, if you'll notice, this was posted February 12, 2012, almost three years ago. Um, there's no way I could remember where that was. I typed in Google Alerts because I know that post was about Google Alerts, and voila, it popped up. So please don't feel like you have to scroll through. I'm, there are almost 20,000 posts on my blog. You're not going to find something that you think you saw a month ago. You know, you're going to have to do a search. And uh, it's the easiest way. It does It's not a perfect system, but it certainly will help you out. Because when you guys say, I thought I found this or I thought I found that, I, uh, can you find it for me? I search. I, I don't know where it is, and I don't post all the things on my blog. I have five helpers. So, um, you know, if you ask me to, to find something for you, I'm just going to go here and search. And you can do that all by yourself. Okay, so let's get back to Google Alerts. Um, Google Alerts. It's a very simple, quick and easy thing that you can do through Google. Like, for instance, type in a name of somebody that you are interested in knowing if they happen to do something that pops up in the news. Or if you're not just being sneaky like that, like I have my son's name because he's a musician. So if he's out and about and there happens to be an article somewhere that comes up, I'll get notified. Uh, another thing you can use it for is like um, if there's special coupons that you're looking for, you can set up a search for those. And then if somebody out in this world posts a deal using a coupon for that product, you'll get an alert. It's really cool. It's really fun. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very, very easy. If you can't remember how to get there, you just go to your search engine and type in Google Alerts. I do have some info here, but I just read through it and it's outdated. They don't do it that way anymore. So somewhere here you will find a link for Google Alerts. Then if you look up here, if you ever want to just go to it directly, it's just google.com backslash alerts. Now you will need to have a Google account. Um, since I already have one, I don't know what it would look like if you don't. I'm sure there would be an option somewhere. Let's see. I don't know. Somewhere to get an account. But it's asking for me to sign in, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. All right. I signed in in private because I thought that was probably the right thing to do. Um, and you'll notice I have four alerts set up. Darlene Mishu, that's moi. Deals by Darlene, that's also moi. My son, Derek Mishu, and then Sanford, Maine, because I live in Sanford, and this way if something funky happens in my little old town. Oh, no, we're a city now, not a town anymore, a city. Um, I get an alert on that. But let's say I want to um, set up an alert for Prell shampoo coupon. And I actually want to do that because I never can find coupons for that. So if somebody out there in this world posts a deal using that coupon, I want my I want to get my hands on it. So I'm just going to type in Prell shampoo coupon. And I'm going to create alert. That's it. I'm done. The only other thing now that I can do is if I want to go here to edit, this is how you delete it. I would just click on that and it would go bye-bye. Uh, if I go here to edit, um, how often I want it as it happens. My other choices are once a day or once a week. Well, you know coupons. Once a week would be silly. I want to know as it happens. If somebody posts a coupon, I want that sucker now. So I'm going to go with as it happens. For other things like um, names and things like that, I can do uh, daily or once a week. doesn't matter. Sources. Um, 
I generally keep it on automatic. I'm not really sure what that means. I think it probably just means it checks everything. Um, for a coupon, I'm just going to go ahead and, and put blogs because I can't imagine a coupon showing up somewhere else. It's, I don't think it's going to come in the news. I don't know. I'm going to leave it on automatic. Can't make up my mind, so I'll just leave it. Region, any region, uh, how many, only the best results, all results. I don't know really how they would determine what the best result is. For this, I'm going to try all results. And there's my email address. Deliver it to that. You would put in, it'll just automatically pop up with your email or um, I guess you could change it. RSS feed. I don't, I don't know how to do that. And I'm going to update the alert. And that's it. So you might want to just go set up a few things and uh, have fun with it. And if you know if you set up a search and you never get any info or whatever, you can just delete it and try something else. And um, it it's just it's good. I mean, it's just good if you if you you know like I really I should have one for Engelbert Humperdinck just so in case he's doing something new in the news, I could tell my mother. So I think I'll probably go set up a few more because. Um, it is fun. I mean, I always get notices for different things about Sanford, and obviously I get notices for my name daily because I have a blog, so I'm always out there. And um, and I like it because I like to see which posts of mine that it catches. But um, just have fun with it. I hope that it's something you try, and uh, I think you'll like it. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for listening. Bye.